Welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a simple technique to replace any screen in Blender. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is to record a video of your screen with a few tracking markers placed on it. You need at least four tracking markers on the screen throughout the whole time to make it work. I just used this image for, that I found on Google and used this as a background so that I had those tracking markers on the screen when I was recording. All right, then let's bring it into Blender. First, we need to click on this plus and open up a visual effects motion tracking workspace. We can close those two windows up here since we don't need them. And let's just drag and drop our footage in here. And first off, we need to set the scene frames so that this uh, matches with our footage. Then as you can see here, the footage has 30 FPS. So we need to go to the output settings and also set this to 30 FPS to make this match. And now we are ready to track the footage. For this, first we need to switch the motion model from location to a fine, since I got the best results with this motion model and then place the trackers. Simply hold down control and left click to add a tracker and then use the shortcut S to scale it up so that it covers this whole circle. Now do this with all the other trackers as well. We need at least four trackers and I'm gonna use the four in the corners in order to get a good result. All right, once we have the, all of them placed, we can start tracking. So press A to select all of them and then control T to track forwards. All right, so as you can see, this worked perfectly and all the trackers stayed throughout the whole shot. So we can now go on with the solve and add a, uh, add a plane track. So switch to the solve panel open up the plane track tab and click on create plane track. It is important that you have all trackers selected in order to be able to do this. Then take the corners of the plane track and place them in the corner of the screen. Now I can scrub through the timeline and the plane track perfectly follows the screen. So now that we have this, we can, we can go to the compositor and click on use notes. I don't want the backdrop, so I turn this off, but instead I want to use an image editor and open the viewer node so that we can see what's going on. Let's make the timeline a bit smaller and let's also close this up. And we don't need the render layers node, so we can delete this. But instead, we need to add an input movie clip node. Duplicate this because we need two of them. And set the first one to the movie clip that we did the track with. If we add in an output viewer node, we can take a look at this. And as you can see here, we have the, our footage that we recorded. But the issue we have is that I recorded this footage in 4K, but the resolution we have set is only 1920 by 1080. So we need to scale this down. For this press Shift A and search for the scale node. Bring this in here and change it to the render size to make this uh, match. Then we also need to go to the render properties and on the color management, switch the view transform from filmic to standard, since we aren't doing any 3D rendering in this project. Now in the second movie clip node, let's open up the footage that we want to add to the screen. Let's click on open and select whatever video you want to add. 
Now to make this match, also duplicate the scale node. And before the scale node, we need to add in a distort plane track deform node. Then here select the movie clip that we did the plane track with. Select the camera and the plane track. And when we take a look at this, you can see that it places it perfectly where the screen would be. To bring those two images together, let's add a color alpha over node. Bring the footage into the first input and the screen into the second one. And as you can see, this matches perfectly. So we are ready to render this out. First, plug the output of the alpha hour node into the composite node. Then let's open this up and set the output settings. I want to export this as an FFmpeg video. And here under the defaults, choose H264 in MP4. Uh, so we already have our settings and then we just need to select an output folder. Then I'm going to call this screen replacement, accept. And if you are happy with everything, you can go to render and choose render animation to render this out. So the render is finished and here we have the final result. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching until the end. If you are interested in creating visual effects with Blender, you might also want to check out my course on Gumroad, where I explain step by step how I created this shot. The link is in the description. I am Nick from Blender Daily. See you in the next one.